Welcome, everybody. NHL action. I'm talking once again with Dana Lane, our NHL analyst, and we're going to bring up the New York Islanders and the Toronto Maple Leafs game. Now, Islanders coming off a big win last night against Pittsburgh 2-1, taking on a Toronto team that has just absolutely been terrible, losing 9 of 10. They have an injury list that is absolutely, I mean, it looks like an NBA roster is what it looks like. Uh, Dana, first and foremost, thanks for being back with us. Break this game down for us and, and where, and let us know where you think the value is, whether it be a side, a total. Um, what do you think is going to be the ticket that will cash tonight? Well, the Islanders certainly played well last night against the Pittsburgh Penguins, and who would have thought that they would have shut down uh, three explosive lines of the Penguins? So, you know, the thinking would be, Mike, if, if they could shut down Pittsburgh, then they certainly can shut down Toronto. Um, this is going to be the battle of the backup. So when better see that... There's going to be backup goaltenders. Of course, they rush to play the over. But Thomas Grice has had a fantastic year for the Islanders. He's 18-6-3 with a 2.21 goals against average. He may be the number one goaltender for a while because Halak went out last night late in the game. And, of course, Garrett Sparks for Toronto is starting. And if you don't know anything about Garrett Sparks, in the minor leagues, Garrett was 36-11 and between Orlando and the Marlies in the American Hockey League. So don't sleep on him. We like the under in this game tonight, uh, but we think both goaltenders are going to show up big. You know, and the under, seven of the last eight games went under for Toronto, and seven of the last ten went under for the Islanders. So I'm sure there was some backup goalies in, those, in some of those games as well. So that kind of makes sense to me. And Toronto pretty much has just mailed it in, obviously. And the Islanders, you know, they've got to be wore out from last night. So I think that under might be a good call. Um, first of all, what is the under set at, and what's the best value that you found, Dana, for our viewers? Uh, the under is at minus $1.20, and you might want to wait on that a little bit because, like I said, uh, the majority of tickets being written are on the over because people are, you know, they're drooling at the mouth with this backup situation. But I just wait a little bit on that. I wouldn't wait a long time because the, the totals don't usually move a lot as far as the money. But I think you could get a little bit better value maybe in an hour or two. Now, let me ask you this, Dana. Do you, do you think Islanders could win this game, or are you just going to stay away from a side in total? No, I'm going to stay away from that um, because what happens is when a team had already played last night and then they have a big win against uh, the Penguins, there is that potential of the letdown. So yeah. as far as the side is concerned, we're going to stay away from that. Okay, so we're just going to take the value in the under, which is set at five and a half. Okay, Dana, thanks so much for being with us. Viewers, you heard it. Take the under at five and a half goals. Right now, you can catch it at minus 120. And as Dana said, you may want to wait a little bit because a lot of tickets are going for the over. And uh, I think there's every reason to take the under tonight. It just kind of makes sense. Dana, thanks so much, my friend. Have a great night, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.